Britain's new Prime Minister Theresa May said the vote to leave the European Union meant the British people wanted to reduce immigration. That will be at the center of Brexit negotiations, but as CCTV's Richard Bestick reports, it has already caused uncertainties for Eastern Europeans living in the UK. This is Britain's most Eurosceptic town, Boston on England's east coast, where more than 75% of residents voted to quit the European Union. Annie, overwhelmed by an influx of Eastern Europeans, as numbers put pressure on housing, the health service and schools. In two schools, there's one child that speaks English as a first language. And we have some classes, no English speaking. I expect to be able to speak English in my own country, not have to learn Polish or Latvian to work in the local factories. The freedom of movement rules, which have seen Boston dubbed Little Poland, will be critical to talks aimed at forging a new relationship with Europe. As Theresa May laid the foundations for those talks for the European tour, she was sensitive to the alarm a divisive Brexit has caused among the UK's estimated 800,000 Poles. I understand that Poles currently living in the UK want to know whether they will retain their rights once the UK leaves the EU. I want and expect to be able to guarantee their rights in the UK. The only circumstances in which that would not be possible would be if the rights of British citizens living across the EU were not guaranteed. Despite those assurances, some still have worries over Britain's uncertain future with Europe. We want to know when and what's going to happen, basically. Yeah, so everyone's kind of anxious. That probably will shoot the gates for Eastern Europeans. So, of course, it is a worry. Reduced access to Eastern European labour could also have a wider post-Brexit impact on Britain's economy. In construction, fears an end to freedom of movement could slow the building of homes already falling behind demand. While agricultural labour dominated by Eastern Europeans in some regions, concerns about bringing in the harvest. At some stage, the UK is going to close its doors on the EU's freedom of movement. The government, though, won't say when, for fear there'll be a last-minute rush at British borders. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.